Hoka Cielo X1 is Hoka's latest top of the range carbon plated super shoe and it's designed for long distance racing. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run 80 kilometers in the Cielo X1 and this is my full review. The Cielo X1 is a brand new model and it doesn't replace the Rocket X series but it's another long distance racing option. The Rocket X2 was one of my favorite races of the past two years, so I have really high hopes for the Cielo X1. This is Hoka's most cushioned running shoe to date. It's got two layers of Piba foam in its midsole, with the top layer being softer and more compressive, and the bottom layer being firmer for more stability. The Cielo X1 doesn't feel as fast as other top tier races. And there are two main reasons. The first is that it's got a flexible plate and that makes the forefoot rocker not as aggressive as other races. And the second is its hefty weight. It feels very bulky and boat-like on foot. To me, the Cielo X1 feels more like a long distance cruiser than a speedy racer. It's comfortable doing easy and steady paces, but when I want to pick up the pace to say tempo or marathon pace, I feel like I have to put a lot of effort into increasing my pace. Outsole durability is average. There's a lot of thick rubber covering all the high wear areas, but the rubber wears down pretty quickly. You can see on my pair the outer lateral heel area is pretty smooth after 80 kilometers. The upper is relaxed and it feels more like a training upper than a racing one. It's made from this really thick knitted material which feels very warm. During long runs, it makes my feet sweat profusely, so breathability is not very good. My favorite feature on the upper are these extra row of eyelets, which allow you to customize the fit. When it comes to fit, it's true to size for me, but it's got a very roomy fit. So if you prefer your uppers with a snug racing kind of fit, then I suggest you go down a half size. I'm a bit disappointed with the Cielo X1, because on paper, it's got the potential to be an outstanding racer. However, it just feels too heavy and too soft to be truly competitive. I think that some of the cushioning can be removed because this much cushioning feels overkill for the marathon distance. The Cielo X1 will stay in my rotation for long runs because it keeps my legs feeling fresh and it helps me to recover quickly after long runs. But I won't be racing in it because I prefer my racing shoes to be stiffer, firmer, and lighter. $275 is way too much to pay for a shoe that suits long distance training runs more than racing. So I wouldn't recommend this shoe to you unless you're aiming to run a full marathon in a time of three hours and 30 minutes or slower. If you've tried this new Hoka racer, let us know your opinions on it down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. You can also read my full written review on Running Shoes Guru. Please like the video and subscribe.